Hello guys, this is Seychelles Productions here. I'm going to give you a little tour about something new in Minecraft. If you haven't noticed, powered rails. Now this came with the 1.5 update, but there has been a few misconceptions. If you don't know how to make them, you can just follow the wiki. Now what has happened is when Notch introduced this, it broke the old classic boosters that you used to make with just rails and a minecart. So sometimes what would happen, you just get really weird effects. Say you're trying to make it so it stops and starts. Well, if a powered cart is off, if the powered cart is off and you push it, no, whoops. If the powered cart is off and you push it, it stops. Now, how can we use that to an advantage to say a minecart race or maybe a change in the tracks? So what I've created is a little redstone contraption. Say you put your cart here, and you push it here. Now look at there's a powered rail here that is connected to redstone wiring that goes to this button. Now when I hit this button, it turns on this powered cart, this powered rail, only for a second. Now if I place a cart here and I push it, it stops. But watch what happens when I push the button. It takes the minecart off and it pushes it through this power rail up the track and around and this can go wherever you want it. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make it. So it's pretty straightforward. All you're going to need is a, about 20 tracks, some redstone torches, some redstone dust, some power tracks, and a minecart or two. So let's say you're building a huge tram system that goes from here and then it turns here and keeps on going. But you've got a little shop here which I'll just mark out. So you've got a little shop here that you want people to be able to stop and see if they want to, but not have to get out of their minecart if they want to keep going. So that's where my little contraption comes in. All you do is just say there's powered rails going here. Okay, so that'll just push your minecart on and keep you at full speed. But right here is where you want it to slow down and stop. So you're going to take out these tracks, and I think about four should be fine. And you're going to make it downhill. And it could go downhill right here. The next part, you're going to put an off rail right here, one on rail and then three other rails. Now I made a mistake here because these powered rails don't turn yet. Notch, you better fix that soon, it's really annoying. So I'll just do that. By the way guys, I'm using single player commands so I can change the time of day and spawn items. But these, ra these rails have to be on in order to keep you guys going. These are on, and you're going to come here, and it's going to turn, it's going to stop you there. And now you need a way to say, okay, you don't want to stop at my shop, so you want to keep going. So the easiest way and the cleanest way to do it is to go two blocks from here, one, two, go up, two, yes, two, and, oh, I messed that up. No, you're going to put two here, one there, and you put redstone here, and you take a button and place that there. So when they stop here, you stop there, you push the button, and they keep going on their way.
Alright guys, thank you for watching. This is Seychelle and this is my first video. Hope you guys enjoy. Check the comments for links of people who helped me design this and an awesome server on Minecraft that it's PvP, but it's probably got the best admin and base ever. Thanks guys for watching.